Hi, my name is John Murray. I'm the CEO at Port Canaveral. Port Canaveral is a seaport on the central point of eastern Florida, built as a man-made port, started in 1953. Over the years, we've grown from a fishing port and a cargo port to become the second largest cruise port in the world. We handle over 4 million passengers per year. We are close proximity to Orlando, which is the driving factor of our cruise industry in that uh, we're close to the Orlando theme parks. Orlando International is a short 40-minute drive without a single street light to the port. We operate uh, with four primary home-ported vessel carriers, uh, namely Royal Caribbean, Carnival, Disney, and Norwegian Cruise Line. Among that mix, we've got the largest vessel class in the world with the Oasis of the Seas. Port Canaveral has a very diverse mixture of cargoes that flow through the port. We're probably the most diverse port in the entire state of Florida, despite our relatively small size in terms of acreage. We have liquid bulk cargo that supplies a vast percentage of Central Florida's fuel supply. We supply jet fuel to the major airports in Orlando, Sanford, Melbourne, and a few others further to the north. We also have salt and aggregate and slag is uh, bulk components. We have a, a robust auto import business coming through our auto facility. We also have a, a container operation and multi-purpose where we handle all different types of cargo. Port Canaveral serves the U.S. military through some commercial operators that have contracts with the U.S. government that will load cargo in times of national emergency and historically we've been able to support any of the large roll-on roll-off ships that come in with rolling stock leaving Florida. In the last uh, year has been a very exciting time for Port Canaveral in terms of the space industry with the commercialization of space between Blue Origin and, and SpaceX. The port has become a central point of interaction between the land, the water, and space. The launches that are recovered offshore can only return to fly again if they come across our docks. One of our large tenants, SpaceX, has actually taken a portion of our uh, facility of, of our port property on the north side to build a refurbishment center for their boosters uh, where they'll refurbish the rockets and then refly them on a second, third, and more flights. 